aim of today's sharing is learning how to plan and build strong bridges before encountering the troubled waters in our lives. And the objective is to convince many of my friends who have started to started thinking that we are too old perhaps, having reached thinking, you know, having reached close to 70. And there is almost nothing uh, we could do to keep ourselves 100% healthy. If not physically, for sure, keeping uh, our minds healthy is very much in our control and keeping mind healthy is, you know, keeping our, you know, abilities, especially the cognitive abilities, you know, uh, healthy. Now, my friends, developing proper awareness about future challenges is the key to a life full of health and happiness. A basic right of us all, but let's not forget, is more of a responsibility than our right. Just imagine if we are living on a seismic fault line. Seismic fault line, uh, where earthquakes are possible. So we then we have to be extremely, you know, uh, um, you know, ready and be prepared for earthquakes. Same way, if we are living with some chronic ailment at plus minus seventy. We should be prepared for not many other problems, most likely to challenge us in our lives. And most likely challenge of today with elderly age are related with our cognitive functions. By the way, we can be confident because it's something which is very much in our control. And that is what we intend to learn today. One expert goes to the extent of declaring this clear-cut increase in cases of weakening cognition functions as a pandemic. By as he calling increased threat of cognitive decline, likely dementia and Alzheimer as pandemic. Now, World Health Organization WHO says in its fact and figures, currently more than 55 million people live with dementia worldwide and there are nearly 10 million new cases every year. So let's not forget if we are shy, by the way, if we are shy of talking about such inevitable realities of life, this clearly means we neither have an iota of awareness nor are we prepared at all for inevitable challenges of life and as such perhaps are not even planning, not even planning for a better life tomorrow. Most important part of our discussion today is to have to save ourselves and for that we must know what kind of personality is more likely to become prey to this pandemic. Now US National Center for Biotechnology Information published a study on disorder of personality as a possible risk factor for the dementia. It says people with borderline or narcissistic personality could have increased risk of developing dementia in the future. I will give you the, you know, below this video, I will give you the links for all these. A study published by Austin Journal of Clinical uh, Neurology says narcissistic vulnerability is a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. If we are and have been a simple person having no airs about us, no pretensions and not a narcissist, we can hope to have a comfortable senior age. But people having lived all their lives with ostentatious and narcissistic pursuits are more likely to face difficulties adjusting with typical hiccups of older age, especially if subdued by some chronic ailment as well. Therefore, instead of building walls around us, using all kinds of defense mechanism to defend one's odd behavior and brush away the self-created embarrassment, we should be ready to learn 
and change ourselves and remember a humble simpleton on the contrary never never needs any tricks and gimmickry to defend anything about him or her after building requisite awareness about what kind of challenges we encounter with age let's now get towards the solutions excuse me a friend of mine sent this eloquent quotation i really love I mean the quotation as well as my friend and feel lucky are those who are introduced to the value of humility in life something very beautiful happens beautiful when i had a stroke i call it stroke of luck something very beautiful happens to people when their world falls apart when i had a stroke looked as if the fall and the world is falling apart but not now now when their world is falling apart a humility nobility a higher intelligence emerges at just the point when knees hit the ground and luckily i got it all but do we have to wait for a trauma to become humble human beings for whom going through any testing times is not a problem now with a realistic i must see the time i am left with with a realistic outlook at any stage of our lives we could stop living a life of deceptive pretensions and overcome most of our newly developed hiccups as i call them at older age with a paradigm shift in our lives we will discover altogether a brand new person in ourselves who loves to go with the flow instead of always fighting against the current whatever is happening is part of life and with this with this attitude we can we become much more much be much stronger than we think we are and we start to enjoy life much more than we may be used to this is not the conclusion but is just a preamble for learning the strategies i developed to live confidently and comfortably with all kind of problem with post brain stroke paralysis